Website photos are a game changer for conversions on your website. We're going to talk about how to get the best videos that convert the most amount of customers today. There's going to be a certain part of your website redesign that's going to require photos. And I find there's some very common issues that business owners make time and time again with getting photography for their website. So today I want to cover the kinds of photos that you should take and the kinds you should not take. We're going to start off with my photography checklist. In the description of this video, there's a downloadable PDF called the photography, actually the essential photography checklist for your website. And it's going to give you a, a list that you can share with your photographer to make sure that you're creating images that are really going to have the lasting impact that you want. Wedding videographers and wedding photographers are unemployed Monday through Thursday. So it's wonderful to go in and hire somebody off Craigslist or I use a tool called Thumbtack and you can get fantastic inexpensive photographers when they're not working. So it's a great way to get really good photos. I don't suggest you take photos with your smartphone. Um, I don't suggest that you use clip art of any kind. Get good pictures taken. They go a long, long way. So let's take a look. So there's certain elements that we want to take photos of. The biggest mistake I see that business owners make in photography for their site is what I call ghost town photos. So let me show you. So I just searched for our office just to get some pictures of office photos. What you'll see here is empty room, empty conference rooms, NT reception areas. No one's there. No one works there. So when you take photos, you want to make sure that you have people in them. People in the workroom, people at the reception desk, people at their cubicles, people in the conference room. Don't post a bunch of empty pictures. Not only is that like boring as all get out, but also you want to make sure that, it, especially for candidates who might work there, they want to see that it's a vibrant workplace. They don't want to see like it's like snooze town. They want to go in and say, okay, yeah, this looks like a cool place to work. So you'll notice that the pictures that have people in it have a lot more credibility. Don't use photo like that. That is clearly a stock photography shot. Don't use that. Use something even if it's not the greatest picture on the planet. I will take a picture like that over an empty office any day of the week. So let's talk a little bit about my photography checklist. And remember, you can download this in the description below in my uh, in the YouTube video area. So here's some a cheat sheet, if you will, for all the kind of photography you should think about taking. The first one is going to be take a group shot and then individual shots of each of your employees. Give them a heads up. Hire a makeup person to come in and do makeup. Let make sure everyone knows how they're supposed to dress, whether it be business attire or maybe you have a logoed shirt, but make sure everyone is dressed up. Um, so take a group shot, shot and then individual headshots, very important. The next one is front counter or reception area. Make sure you get some beautiful flowers. Make sure you got, you know, a coffee station or something that's going to make that look very, very um, inviting and warm. The next one's going to be mimic the customer experience. So take photos of customers with employees consultants, smiling, and happy clients. Then, of course, you want to go outside. Take a picture of your entire team in front of the building, if you have a building, or take it out in the field. You're out working with clients. Maybe I have a, a, a client called Rub-A-Dub Plumbing. They're genius because they were having no luck. I think they named their company, I can't even remember, something like Tyler Texas Plumbing, which is good for findability, but not good for marketing. So they rebranded their entire company as Rub-A-Dub Plumbing and all of their trucks are bright yellow duck yellow and they have those little tiny rubber ducks that you put in the bathtub and as their plumbers go out to different locations, they take photos with the duck. The ducks on the toilet, the ducks down by the sink and it's a genius marketing campaign. But what they've learned is their pictures speak volumes. So rubadubplumbing.com, you'll see they have all the yellow trucks lined up right in front of the uh, right in front of the office, and everyone's in their best dress, um, their best dress uh, shirts. Let me show you, and this has been transformative for their business. So here you'll see we've got all of them. They're all nice and dressed. They're all in front. So get all those trucks all lined up so that they that they looks looks great. Everyone's smiling. 
there's the owner. We've got his shirt on. He's ready to go, ready to help you. And then, of course, there's a video. They even have, yes, they even have a duck costume that they have go and visit client sites. It works. I know it sounds cheesy, but it really, really does work. And then, of course, the, their logo also has the rubber duck in it. So now, you know, something that's relatively boring, like plumbing, has now something that's cute. They leave ducks for the entire family on the counter with their thank you note. So it's just, it's just think about how can you take something that is uh, pretty boring and turning into something that's really interesting, even funny, even Instagrammable for a plumbing company. Pretty remarkable. So that's a great example. If you want to check them out, it's rubadubplumbing.com. All right, let's keep going down our checklist. We want to do outside our facility, of course, specific products that you want to feature on the website. So if you have a signature, um, you have a signature product, you have a signature something, make sure you get the photographer to take those pictures while they're there. Um, a coffee tea reception area. People always want to know they're not going to be sitting in the reception area since the dawn of time. So if you have a service-based industry where people have to wait, make sure that looks very, very entertaining. You have an area for the kiddos. Maybe you have a coffee and tea station. Anything you can do to make that look like an okay place to hang out while you wait. And then, of course, if you have training rooms or a work area like cubicle or you have uh, a training room or a conference room, make sure you put people in there, get dynamite shots of them in their workspace. Because remember, people are going to go to your website if they're thinking about working for your company too. So you want to make sure that everything that you're creating has a great look and feel for people who might consider working there, not just people that are going to work with you. And some other ideas are get some good shots. So think about a one quarter, three quarter layout. So if I'm looking at a banner that goes like this, Think about this part is the one quarter and this part is the three quarters. What that does is it gives you a place to have an image on one side and then text on the other. Let me show you an example. I'm going to show you some three quarter, one quarter layouts. So my home page is a great example of this. You'll see that I'm over on the far um, right. I'm holding my sign and then the far left is just the background space. And that gives me an area where I can put text, I can put boxes, and I can put schedule a findability review. So when you're working with your photographer, make sure you're thinking landscape as opposed to portrait, we're thinking landscape so that I can use those for Facebook banners, I can use them for YouTube banners, I can also use them for those big sweeping sliders on my website. So don't forget to download the essential photography checklist that's down in the description on this YouTube video. Make sure to hire a good photographer. Spend a little money. It will go a long, long way. And remember that there's a checklist on the back of that download that will give you a list. Sit down and talk with your photographer about your vision for the website and what kinds of photos, remember in that three quarter, one quarter layout that you can use not only for your website, but all of your social media. Because we will make a split decision on whether we trust you, like you, and ultimately we want to work with you based on what those images look like. So make sure they count. Do it right. I love a downloadable, so don't forget to download our photography checklist. The link is in the description below. And hey, if you want to chat, let's get on the phone. Let's, let's pull some reports. Let's see how you're ranking. If you'd like to schedule a review call today, the link is in the bottom. Also, visit our website at findability.com and you can get all of our goodies at our website. And we'll see you on the next video.